Thanks for tuning into the Boston Roll channel. Liking the video and subscribing to the channel are free and easy for you, and they help me out a lot. If you want to go further with your support, Patreon and YouTube membership offer access to the Boston Roll Discord community, early access to lists, written content, things like that. You can have me play your deck on the channel, and the highest tiers come with individual coaching sessions. If you use YouTube membership, you also get sweet badges and emotes integrated here into YouTube. You can support the channel while you shop at tcgplayer.com by using my affiliate link in the video description. And you can play any deck anytime by using a cardhoarder.com loan account on Magic Online. If you want to wear your support, check out the merch store. And of course, thanks for being here. Now let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to what is sure to be one of the most unhinged donation decks I've ever played on the channel. This is Absolute Madness by Patreon subscriber Rob. Rob is the mind behind the Loam, Chains, Anvil decks that you've seen on the channel before. And... The feedback and comments from the two times I played the Anvil Chain deck is people like, where's Burning Inquiry? Where's Winds of Change? And we figured, you know, fuck it, let's do it. And this is a deck with four Chains of Mephistopheles and lots of ways to make people draw extra cards and discard cards. The way to break parity when everyone is just whipping their hand in the graveyard is I have the full eight of the zero mana Madness Root Wallas which are complementing two Turok, or three Turok Dread Cantor, which doesn't care how an opponent discards cards, simply that they do. Whenever an opponent discards a card, put a plus one counter on Turok. So you can play a two mana 2-1 two with Pearl White. That'll grow over the course of the game. If you find yourself with four mana, you can kick it for a him to Turok effect. Kroxa doesn't care if it's in the graveyard. In fact, it prefers it that way. So Kroxa is another threat in this Rakdos discard deck. And the rest of the deck is just tying together to ma the mana to try to make this happen. We're trying to go fast. Like, I want turn one Chains of Mephistopheles plus some additional effect every single game. And for that reason, we have three Dark Rituals plus four Mox Diamonds plus two Gemstone Caverns. Just going in hard on the fast mana plan here. Because this deck is not... A functional legacy deck. Let's be serious. Like, if I actually have to play out a game that goes six, seven turns and beyond, you're not doing a whole lot here. So, we're trading resiliency for power. And I've never played a deck quite like this one. I mean, I've obviously played Narset and Days Undoing, which is a pretty similar thing to Chains of Mephistopheles and Winds of Change. But those are usually in control shells with Swords to Plowshares and Force of Will to help you out. This is just whirling shit at the wall and hoping that something sticks. Which, the Legacy card pool does allow you to do. Madness is an existing deck. The Red-Green Madness deck with Lion's Eye Diamond that discards its own hand on purpose on turn one for fun and profit. And we've taken some lessons from that. Pox is an existing Legacy deck. There's some shades of that going on here. This is not, like, without sense it's just a very deep exploration of the how far we could push chains of mephistopheles as a four of in a deck and that's what's going on there's really not a lot to say about this deck other than let's fucking go if there was ever a time to meet at an intersection and pray to mephistopheles this is it let's make this thing hum Okay, no mana acceleration in this opening hand, but I do have a Chains and a Burning Inquiry on Kroxa. I'm going to keep this. Unfortunate that we're on the draw. Let's hope there's some slow fair deck that gets punished by just the weirdness of the cards I'm playing. Okay, um, I think I just want to inquire. Between Kroxa and Rootwalla, I got enough going on here. Let's make it weird. And if they spend a counterspell on this, then Chains is more likely to resolve. Okay, <laughs> I discarded Liliana, Land, and Chains. They lost Supreme Verdict, Prismatic Ending, and Jace. Well, that was a... It hit three spells on their end, but didn't hit any of my payoffs on my end. Winds of Change, huh? I think I want a Kroxa. Just get to work. Beating up their hand. That's what we've been doing so far. I'm, like, pretty worried about Hallbreacher and Narset with my Winds of Change deck. Now that I see what they're doing, like this deck definitely has those cards in it. Just hope that Liliana can provide the correct amount of pressure. They discarded a lot of white cards and then played zero white mana. I like that. 
All right, uh, Dark Ritual can get Kroxa on the stack right now. Or I could play Liliana. I think I got a Liliana here. Because I get the Root Wallet for free. Let's go. Horse of Will pitching another Teferi. All right, deal. Didn't flash in Hall Breacher. I like that. And they've missed a land drop. That's weird. My, my Burning Inquiry didn't hit any lands or any cards that would help them find lands. This is literally just the cards that they kept with their opening hand. Dark Ritual up a Kroxa. Here we go. Even get to play around days. It's in there. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Discarded a Swords to Plush here, so you love to see that. I don't even want to Winds of Change this opponent right now because their hand clearly isn't functional. Uh oh, white mana. We're in trouble. What's the payoff? Jace. Okay. Jace bouncing Kroxa is like not exactly exciting. Chains off the top. Dark Ritual. By Dark Ritual, I don't actually want to do that. I want to Kroxa. Oh, wait, I do want a Dark Ritual, don't I? Then I have Mana Floating after the change. I get one less card, but I do get Mana. Hit you with this. One card left over there. Your days Undoing gone. Confirmed Narsa deck, not that I had any doubt. Winds of Change. They get one new card, I get three new cards. Burning Inquiry, you fucker. Uh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant actually pressures Jace meaningfully. All right. <laughs> There's Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Let's go. What a weird game. Weirdly competitive, even. Like, not even just weird, but actually somehow still playing this game. Teferi, okay. Didn't leave up white. That's big. All right, do you have Lightning Bolt in your deck, or did your Jace just die? I would not have activated Hive into white mana. Takanuma. Get in there. Or I could play Cavern and save my Takanuma as a actual spell. That's probably better. My mana's already set up. Well, let's hope this works, I guess. Back, Jace the Mind Sculptor. I get to exile a card from the graveyard. Probably want to hit Days Undoing so I don't get got by any Mystic Sanctuary bullshit. Well, the Jace is answered. <laughs> One down. That was cool. The only time I've activated Hive of the Eye Tyrant before right now was at the Adventures of the Forgotten Realm pre-release. I'm glad it's showing up in Legacy, being awesome. Or whatever this is. Do not shuffle the Ponder. Plus Teferi again. Another Takanuma. I don't think I can fire Hive just into all this open mana. I don't really want to fire Burning Inquiry into Hall Breacher. But also, I kind of do. I could play a land to mitigate that a little bit. But I kind of want to... Inquire into Kroxa, and I need my land drop to do that. Or red, black, black. Yeah, even with the colorless source, I could still do that. All Breacher's a blowout, but otherwise, let's go. Force of Negation, pitching Force of Will, even though they have three mana up. Okay, uh, I mean, that feels like a removal spell to me, but I'm still going to make the attack. The play force them to have it all right well we got into combat so i'll attack to fairy and exile i guess swords to plowshares ah i was a second too late all right i went after the correct card but they had the snapcaster in hand all right fine it's all good the action was forced and the coast currently clear for croaks related shenanigans and to is just taking up and up a uh, fairy can bounce snapcaster here for giant value Good stuff. Okay, so I can play Urborg. Or I can just Takanuma. It's the same thing. I discard Takanuma, mill two, pick up Kroxa. Or mill three, then pick up Kroxa. Exciting. Never activated this card before. Obviously. I get to fire this in, nab a card from their hand, and that the mill three sets up a actual escape for next turn. Brainstorming in response. The Teferi is not up right now. Like, uh, the, the plus mode isn't up, so they can't snap the Prismatic Ending on me. Discarded a Prismatic Ending, took three damage, or Prismatic Vista, took their damage for that. Uh-oh. I hope that was just shuffling a Brainstorm and not actually deploying a 5-drop. Teferi is plussed. That means snap Prismatic Ending is online. 
All right, they're just snapping now. Cool. Oh, Crux is going to get to do something here. Rudy do. Okay, here comes Kroxa. It can hit the last card in their hand. Which I hope isn't Swords to Plowshares. Bummer. All right. That's probably the end of the game. But I'm going to keep playing it. This deck will probably have a really hard time answering to rock if I draw him, and I still have all three in the deck somewhere. The fairy shuts off madness, just the static ability. Madness is one of the many victims of Teferi Time Raveler, just as a mechanic doesn't function. Him to Turok would be a great draw here. Or actual Turok is better than him. Mystic Sanctuary, buying back. Brainstorm, okay. There's that mid-game dark ritual that you just love to see. Maybe this deck needs more creature lands. In that Hive of the Eye Tyrant was fucking fire. There is a Sokenzan and also a Den of the Bugbear in the deck. Maybe we wanted more bugbears. Okay, so they just end step snap brainstormed. I'll get the extra two life here. They end step snap brainstorm, drawing the brainstorm that they knew was on top of the deck. What are they doing with all this mana now? There's another Croaks in the deck that's going to be good whenever I find it. Tarak is what I'm really interested in, though. Wasteland. Might as well. I'll just crack off this Tundra. End step, Days Undoing. Oh. Deal. You're going to give me seven cards in my hand right now? Wow, you were so far ahead in this game. What are you doing? All right. Uh, let's hope that that didn't just draw a second Days Undoing and Narset. I'm ready to unload here. Jace, okay. I mean, Chains with Mephistopheles is really good against that card. But Teferi is good against Chains. I need to find another spell. I have so much mana I can just unload. And I have two powerful spells. I'd like a third one, though. Didn't attack with Snapcaster. Okay. Good spell. Not exactly the heater I was looking for. All right. Um, I think I just have to lead on Tarak. On Queso. For those about Tarak. Oh my god, it's in. And Tarak is growing. Uh, there is a basic swamp in my deck. I think I should be fetching to get rid of it. At least I think there, there should be if I didn't mill past it. I did not. All right. Fetch for the swamp. Play Chains of Mephistopheles. Okay. Force of Will, that. Interesting. They had the force and was not interested in fighting over Tarak, but are interested in fighting over Chains. I guess Jace bouncing Tarak is like, oh, that's rough. All right, go ahead. I have questions. Do you have another Mystic Sanctuary? Nope. All okay, right, good. Just cracking fetches here. All Breacher. All right, confirmed in the deck. We're in the danger zone. There's the plow. Teferi bouncing Snapcaster Mage, sacrificing the Teferi to make that happen. Jace bounced to rock. All right, do you have a days on? Oh, yeah, Snapcaster days on doing. Yeah, yeah, all right. That works. Story checks out. And the Hall Breacher is there. Okay. Boo, boo. Sweet line, though. They're at six. <laughs> Winds of change get wrecked. Hope you didn't want those cards. <laughs> I am definitely just memeing here. This doesn't even do anything. Just changes the seven cards in their hand to different seven cards in their hand. <laughs> Enjoy those. After a long, scrappy battle, they finally executed their thing. Narset. The fairy. Right, they got a ton of basics, so I'm not bringing in my Blood Moon. I am bringing in my Pyroblast. They're several minutes behind me on the clock. I'm going to play this out. Both for clock advantage and in case they show me more cards that I need to think about or know about. They're also at five, so something like Kroxa could still. I don't know. Like, I'm obviously just in terrible shape right now, but I have creature lands in my deck. There are. There's reach. There's ways to go face in my deck. Their hand is so good that they're discarding forces. <laughs> oh no. Take another five here. Cracking this fetch land takes a bad draw out of my deck, but also reduces the clock by a whole turn. I think I'll hold on to it. 
They had to go to discard two turns in a row. Checkmate. Ooh. It's easily force of will this, but I'm still casting it. Using my own Urborg to tap their fetch lands for force. Good stuff. Brainstorming with Jace again. Teferi's on eight. <laughs> it could bounce the Snapcaster Mage and have forces up, but don't even want to. Don't even need to. Hands already seven cards. Chains, let's go. Still casting spells. Chains resolved. And Teferi could just bounce it. It doesn't matter. All right, Prismatic Ending in the end step also does the job. My last draw for the game was Winds of Change. Let's change the wind one more time. Okay, I'm up five minutes on the clock and learn that they are a Jeskai deck. They have Hall Breacher and Narset, along with some number of Teferis. Supreme Verdict in the main deck. I suspect that's getting boarded out, though. Cards I'm interested in include Pyroblast. A sudden Edict can answer a Hall Breacher, but mostly isn't good, I think. Surgical Extraction can mess with their Snapcasters. I could get Days Undoing out of their deck. Let's see what I'm actually cutting. I mean, this is pretty awkward because they are this uh, Narset Hall Breacher deck where that makes Winds of Change just absolutely heinous and Burning Inquiry also, but those are also my plans to make it so they can't play the game. I think Winds of Change has to go and bring in the Red Blast and the Sudden Edict. Blazing or uh, Burning Inquiry is still interesting to me because my graveyard's better than theirs. Could bring in Consume just as like another thing, but Consume is more likely to kill my permanents than theirs. Yeah, I think I have to just play kind of a Jund deck, just normal ass Jund, which is not where I want to be, but mulling for good turn ones is going to be important here. I got to take action before they hit three mana and they're able to do other stuff. Uh, This is as bad as possible. Uh, Mulligan this. Okay, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to bottom wasteland because it just doesn't do anything. This might be a turn two to rock game and then burning inquiry after that. Like I need my boy to, to do something. I want to keep seven. That's lucky. I guess I could just burning inquiry and try to make it weird. Mess with their opening hand. Yeah, variants take the wheel. Let's go. Inquire. Wow, force pitching force on my turn one burning inquiry. Field one mana him to Tarak. Get out of here. Oh, wow. And you played a Tundra. I'm just going to Wasteland. Splat. Not a lot of targets for Wasteland in this deck. I'm going to take the one that they give me. And I'm just going to play Blazing Rootwalla. You don't need to get cute with it. I'll just play my 3-1. I feel like this card should have haste. Blazing? It's not. It doesn't look Blazing to me. It's just chilling. Chilling Rootwalla. Ooh, that's a good one. I think I should put Turok into play. Instead of pumping this, just make two mana for a white to rock. I'm going to get basic swamp in case they have back to basics kind of stuff. Just curving this into Liliana is pretty exciting because Liliana will grow to rock next turn. Hitting the three drop tribal deck with a wasteland just feels so fucking good too. The prismatic ending? Ever? Oh my god. Please resolve Liliana. This is the complete nuts if, ha if it happens. Brainstorm, all right. It wasn't Spell Pierce. Resolves, 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 resolves. No! All right, another Force Pitching Force. Whatever. Another Hymn to Turok resolved. It's straight up Mine Rot. Three mana, they discard two cards. And they had to make a weird Brainstorm to do it. All right, deck. They're hurting. Let's close the gap. That Reb is really nice, too. It can kill a Snapcaster Mage if they try to just flash in and trade which I think would be a perfectly reasonable play. Oh, baby. Him to Tarak with protection. Bang. He's singing his own song right here. Uh, Yeah, Plow Resolves. I'm not going to pump it for two life. That's not what this game is about. And we're Tarakin' out. Our set. It would be a shame if someone had a red blast. And the tactical concession. Good choice. Save time. Going to game three. That was sick. Just... Two for one, two for one, two for one, dead. I do feel like forcing that turn one burning inquiry was slightly preposterous, but I don't I don't know. Maybe they think my deck is more explosive than it actually is. 
I have the the benefit of knowing what's in my hand, and they don't. I don't think my sideboard plan changes at all. These are the cards that I have. Surgical extraction is the one thing that might be defensible, but I'm not doing it. A turn one chains. I'm gonna keep this, or I could turn to it with protection. That's probably the play. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a root walla in. Root walla go. I'm not going to play Mox Diamond to hold up Red Blast on turn two. Their scary things happen on turn three. I guess they could have like counterbalanced me or something there, but that, that didn't happen. Ooh, that's a good card. Okay. Uh, do I want to fetch Badlands and discard Urborg or play Urborg and discard Bloodstain Mire? I think I want to discard Urborg. I discard Urborg. I'm going to attack first. See if I can get them to spend mana on something. Chains? I can't protect it from prismatic ending. Kind of annoying. But that's how chains works. They've got a spell. Is it Teferi or is it prismatic ending? Correct both fetch lands. And just pass the turn. Okay. Remembered I had red blast in my deck probably. Then realized they can't play around it. Okay. So if they bounce chains, I just pick off Teferi. If they bounce, all right, I guess I'll commit the Red Blast here. I'm playing pretty hard into Back to Basics, but whatever. Discarding the Urborg was kind of signing up for that. Kind of hope they do force me back here, because Teferi's not even that great right now. Force Pitching Day's Undoing. So you can bounce the chains and be sub and lose your thing. All right. All right, so yeah, Teferi just gets attacked here. I like that. Back to fairy. Finish him off. Do I want to redeploy chains or just Liliana here? I think it's Liliana. Bang. Yeah, now you discard a card, I get a root walla. Money. Guess I missed two damage there. If I had done this pre-combat. Oh wait, no, I attacked to fairy this turn. I didn't miss two damage. We're good. Jace, that's a pretty good one, but I can kill it with my creatures that are on the board. If they force my chains, I can plus Liliana and they're hellbent, and then I can kill Teferi. This is a pretty reasonable position, considering they just resolved a Jace. Okay, chains, get in there. Just resolved. Cool. Play my land, plus Liliana. Gonna kill Jace with one of these, and attack their face with the other. Jace and Jace are the various places. And I am pumping both of them this time. Gotta get this game one. They discarded Blue Blast to the Liliana. All right, yeah, setting up Terminus, pretty dope. There's still a Chains and Liliana in play, though. Our set. Oh, Prismatic Ending on Liliana. Okay. We're getting weird. Green mana paying out here. There's one Bayou plus the Mox Diamonds in the deck to make Basking Rootwalla happen. I attack for three. Just always sink your mana into this. I think I want to sandbag the caverns because if I draw a burning inquiry, that matters. All right, Narset, what do you got? Please don't answer my root wall. All right, they found plow. Yeah, doing it now before I get extra life off it. Another one. All right, root wall is back. Narset gets to activate again. Show me like a brainstorm or some garbage. Green Narset. Oh, you just had that? All right. Mystery card in hand was Prismatic Ending. New Narset is here. Found Hydroblast. All right. Not a whole lot of red cards left in the deck. And that's not one of them. Pew, 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 pew. Two cards in hand. Put them in the graveyard, please. Force of Negation and Hydroblast are gone. Got a big old Turok right now. The combo's here. Chains plus Turok. If they ever try to draw an extra card, my Turok's going nuts. Force of Will in hand. Fairy. That doesn't really do anything. Oh, playing your land was bold. I would have had to at least think about the Force of Will. Didn't. Okay. Wasteland. Take out Tundra. Okay, Mystic Sanctuary is going for what? Terminus. Alright, that makes sense. Chains. Redeploy. Gotta take out Teferi here. That card actually does stuff and impacts the board. The Narset's out of 
lot of counters. I guess if I sandbag the wasteland, I can respond to the fetch and take them off three islands. I was not heads up enough for that right now. Whoops. Another one. Chains are non-legendary, and they do stack, just for the record. So now Prismatic Ending doesn't get them out of this. If Force in Hand and can hardcast it. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to give them this free lunch on the Force of Will. I have discard spells in my deck. Walla. Let's see if I can bait them with this. Like slam Force of Will on this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's why we wait. Now I'll play my land. Bang. Hellbent opponent running out of time. Oh yes, we're having fun here. I'm gonna fetch a basic swamp right away. Uh oh. Ponder. Okay. So they're gonna look at their top three cards, then mill two. Yep, milled, brainstorm, and hull breacher. And then it's my turn. <laughs> that was sick. Uh guess I wasteland. Keep it coming. Keep the squeeze squeezy. It's looking good, team. Napcaster Mage. Uh, that can prismatic ending. All right. They found a good one. I got good ones too, though. Oh, that's one of the best ones. Holy shit. And I have exactly the mana to cast this thing. Red, black, black, red. Bang. You're in top deck mode. Dead on board. Can't draw extra cards. Let's go. Fetching in the upkeep. And the winner is... Absolute madness. <laughs> Undefeated lifetime with this ridiculous deck. On to the next round. I'm on the play with not enough mana to actually function, so I'm going to mulligan this. This is the same hand. Going to five. Okay, I'll keep this one. And I'm going to get rid of Winds of Change and Rootwalla. The Winds of Change and Rootwalla can go. Yeah, I guess. Not happy about it, but here it is. And there's only one play to make here. Hope him to Tarak catches up this mulligan in a meaningful way, and that they don't have Wasteland in their deck. Uh oh, Faithless Looting and Animate Dead. Kroxa just got terrible. Yeah, Kroxa went from my best hope to suddenly unplayable. Uh oh. I can't even play this card, can I? Like if they played a kept a Faithless Looting hand. Ugh. If they don't have a monster, Croaks is great. If they do, it's terrible. All right, I just have to pass. Probably dead anyway. If they have the Entomb. All right, they didn't Entomb. But they kept a Faithless Looting Hand, which makes me think there's a monster in it. Unmasking themselves. All right. Archon, Grief, and Ex... Yeah, I was right not to Croaks with them, but it's not going to matter. Do I have any out to an Archon? I don't think so. They can exhume here, and then I discard my Mox Diamond. I'll take a draw step and then decide what's going on. Tough Mall to 5. Yeah, no good. Roxa can't race this thing because it has an Edict attached. Yeah. I've seen enough. I guess I technically could have played Wasteland, played Croxa, and drawn to a Liliana. Maybe I shouldn't have conceded just yet. But it's fine. Okay, Surgical Extractions and Consumes come in. Sudden Edict comes in. Uh, much of my deck is terrible right now. The uh, Liliana discard, the Krogsa discard. I think the Turox are still fine. I don't think I can play Krogsa. Liliana at least has other text of removing a creature once it's in play. Burning Inquiry is really dangerous, but gotta do what I gotta do. Cards that are bad. And all my lands are good because I'm a Mox Diamond deck. God, winds of change with chains. Like, I don't even really want to mill them. It's so dangerous. It's so bad. Uh, uh, I guess if I can force discard at a time where they don't want to discard yet because I have surgical, then that's interesting. All right, I guess I got to play to my graveyard hate and trust my discard spells not to fuck me too hard. Do I want all the root wallas in the deck? Do I want winds of change in the deck? I mean, wins on the play is kind of funny, because it basically forces them to mulligan, and then they can't mulligan again. But where am I going to find four more cuts? Oh, I, uh, Gemstone Caverns can go, but I'm still a Mox Diamond deck. Yeah, maybe it's the Dark Rituals, because this matchup's not about speed, it's about ability. But, god, this is hard. 
so hard. I'm going to cut a root walla with my dark rituals. I don't feel great about that. If there's a game three, we'll spend another three minutes trying to figure out a better plan. All right, I have the wins. Um, I'm going to keep this. Wins is not discard, it's shuffle. So I got that going for me. I can den wins, see what happens. I think I want to den mox diamond, then wins. And I'm losing all these cards, so I'll discard the wasteland. Wind. Mulligan you. Against their deck that is pretty reliant on mulligans, I think this is a fun way to start the game. Okay, and I have Lily on the next turn. Let's go. I could have played the Root Walla, but I kind of want to... Now that I'm down so many cards already, I kind of want to just jump it into play with Liliana. Add my discard. Oh, baby. Chains lines up well against Grizzlebrand. I've heard. Uh, but maybe not against the Reanimator deck, specifically that loves putting cards in its graveyard. Fuck. Okay. Um, I'll get Liliana in while she can still function. Yeah, they discarded a land. They did not pass the turn because they didn't have a land. They passed the turn because they didn't have an Entomb. They reanimate. They can only Grizzlebrand once. That's a small relief. But skipping their land drop last turn does mean that they don't have... They're one mana short this turn of where they would be otherwise. And if they can get protection from Planeswalkers this turn, then they win. From the Sarah Emissary. Unmasking me. Disappointing. My chains are gone. They exiled Archon. That's scary. Does that mean they have another one? What does that mean? Archon is the card I'm most worried about right now. Okay, they're going to, going to discard. I'm going to get to eat this Grizzle Brand with Liliana and attack them to two. Come on, Surgical Extraction off the top. Yeah, they discarded an Archon. Surgical! Burning Inquiry. All right, I mean, we can get weird together. All right, here we go. I just have to hope to knock out their reanimation spell that they were counting on. Uh, got rid of an Entomb and a reanimate. Well, they couldn't reanimate anyway. I will attack with my friend. Put you to two. Then you get to Exhum or whatever. And I didn't hit any creatures on my Burning Inquiry, so Exhum just got kind of bad. Well, it was already bad for me, but now I don't even get anything out of it. Boo. Boo. Well, I sack my Root Walla here. I can eat the Archon again, but then this any reanimation spell gets it back again. If I draw Dark Ritual, I can attack them to one with my Den of the Bugbear, but that's not enough. Did I board those out? Reanimating. Oh, that's so good. Reanimating my Root Walla insulates the Archon from Liliana. Sudden Edict. Tilt. All right, GG. Is this a too early concession again? I think so. All right. I will use Liliana to kick off the Root Walla. I will let them... I'll play to my outs. I may have conceded game one a little early, but this is basically over. I get to attack and draw a card. They're attacking for eight between the trigger and the, the creature's power. Faithless looting. Discarded two lands. Reanimated my root wall again. Disappointing. And Bloodstained Mire. All right. We're actually dead this time. Reanimator once and again, ruining a perfectly good meme league. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards. And you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the draw in round three, but this hand does everything I want it to. I am going to keep and hope that they are a slow fair deck with their Grizzle brand avatar. <laughs> All right, basic island. That's what I wanted to see. I'm going to Bloodstain Mire and pass here. I think my plan is Kroxa. All right. Yeah, I'm going to Kroxa this turn. And then next turn, I can Chains plus wins. Crooks uh, cleared a force of will. I like that. The storm in before my chains. I don't like that. Okay. Chains of Mephistopheles. Let's see what happens here. Discarded one force already. Do you have another? 
Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Winds of change. Are we both about to just be hellbent and mill our decks? Oh, you did have another force. Pitching Narset. Okay. We got Narset out of the way. I'll take that. Hey, we're a Grixis deck. All right. You did Sugu Consumes are. All right. That'll fuck with my uh, graveyard next turn. But I'm not super worried about it because I'm going to empty their hand right now. Splat. Snapcaster Mage, Sudden Edict, gone. Can't draw extra cards. And, <laughs> oh my god, are we ready? Let's ask a question. All right, Tarak triggers. Tarak triggers. Discard Rootwalla, draw a card. Discard Rootwalla, draw a card. Discard bonus Tarak. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so Tarak is growing. It's an 8-7. And I cast three creatures. I don't even know where this Blazing Rootwalla came from. I don't remember discarding that, but here we are. Put it into play. And attack you for eight. Fatal push still gets this thing, but my opponent is hellbent. I can fetch my Bayou to pump Root Wallace. Hidetsugu wakes up here, but Hidetsugu is the same size as my various lizards. <laughs> and they're just done. Fuck yeah. Okay, we did the thing. Time to sign off. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next game. Because I'm not actually ending the video. But that was awesome. Okay, we're playing against Grixis. I want the Pyroblast for their Narsets and Days Undoing kind of stuff. Winds of Change has proven to be probably the worst card in the deck. But I'm going to slow down, cut the Winds of Change. I don't want to hit Itsugu, they're hit Itsugus. Blood Moon could be good in the matchup. But I want to stick to plan A for now. Let's go. Another slow start, but grip full of rudies. Need a way to get them in my graveyard. And Chains does do that. Ooh, Dark Ritual off the top. Pretty excited to see that. That gives me a pretty exciting turn too, where I get to Kroxa and Chains. I'm just gonna land go for now. Unfortunately, I can't cast a Rootwalla because I need red, and there's no Taiga in the deck, just a Bayou. I would love to start getting that nickel and dime damage, but not available. Elfal Strix. All right. A good card. I'm not going to fetch because I do want to draw lands. Rock. Wow. Okay. Um, I could Dark Ritual out to rock instead of Chains and Kroxa. Getting to rock forced hurts a lot more. Yeah, I'm going to go with Chains and Kroxa. Dark Ritual. Kroxa. Soften up the hand before I go for chains. Not that I think they're going to let chains resolve again if they have a choice. Lost a brainstorm. All right, they're either preparing for the inevitable chains or their hand is just hot fire. Yeah, I guess they were just preparing for the, the chains. Heads up play. I like it. Now I need to hit some lands or like a burning inquiry to set this thing off. Another Strix. Uh, this is a, a loot, not a draw. Chains already putting in work. Inquiry? Boo, boo. Uh, I guess I'll, I'm still going to play Tarak. It's still a creature. It still gets bigger when change triggers. Something in play they got to respect, or at least acknowledge. Yeah, that's fine. That lightning bolt was destined for something. If it's Tarak instead of my face, I'm not mad about it. Got Jace. Please play, ask, activate the brainstorm ability. All right, just fate sealing me immediately. That is probably the way. Not bottom the card. Is it a land? It is. So Kenzen, get in there. Liliana, let's go. Plus, and bring a Rootwalla to the party. Suddenly, things got weird. Oh, they discarded Thoughtseize. Wow, imagine Thoughtseizing a hand of three Rootwallas. That's pretty good stuff. High quality content. How do you consume? All right, fine. My Rootwalla. Ace is still in permanent fate seal mode because you can't brainstorm with chains in play. And you can, it's just weird and bad. Player discards a card. How about basking Rootwalla? We've seen this trick before. Unfortunately, this is Sokenzin and not Den. But Den wouldn't have cast Liliana last turn, so there's a little bit of a wrong con there. 
I was a card short of bringing back Croaks the last turn. Yeah, not feeling good about this one. Oh, Jace bounced my Rootwalla. Fucked up. I will put this Rootwalla back into play again. But they knew that was coming. Not even sure what the out is at this point. Turns out Jace is just really good. Burning Inquiry. All right. Yeah, this one's over. Boo, boo. This deck might need some more targeted discard. Like, I think the winds of change should probably just be some thought seizes, or at least split them, like two and two. Uh, my red blasts are in already. I could play my own consumes, but those kill my root wallas. Not a fan. Consume lines up really well against this deck. The fact that Blazing Rootwalla and Kroxa are my two win conditions, and it just deals with both. Off crowd. Could bring in Plague Engineer named Bird and mess with them. On the play, though, I kind of like Winds of Change. All right, I'm actually going down to one Winds of Change in the deck. No, I'm not. I lied. There's going to be zero of those in the deck, and I'm bringing in Plague Engineer. That can name Bird, clear the Strixes, and get in. This hand, kind of awkward, but I'm in. There's a lot of power here. Just gotta get it lined up. Guess the question is, do I just nasty naked Burning Inquiry? Because my hand is just mana and Kroxa, which is good in the graveyard. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get rowdy with Burning Inquiry. Let's go. Make it weird. Okay, I discarded three lands. They discarded land. Baleful Strix, Sudden Edict. All right. That's not bad. Ooh, a Wasteland target this early in the game? Yes, please. Wasteland that. Have they seen a Wasteland yet in the match? I don't know. I think I'm going to save the other Burning Inquiry. Like they discarded a land already, and I just wasted them. Yeah, I'll save that one until I can cash something out on it, like have some Root Wallas in my hand or find a Chains or something. Mox Diamond, good card. I'm going to fetch Badlands. I guess I should get Basic Swamp. Badlands makes red red, though. Yeah, I'm going to get Badlands. I don't think they have Blood Moon in against me. Broxa, go. This lets me Dark Ritual into Croxa next turn. Against their 7-card hand, that might be kind of aggro. If I draw a land, I don't have to Dark Ritual. Discard a land, okay. Land screwing them was not the plan, it seems. Or discarding them on purpose. Okay, Urborg that I'm definitely not playing and helping out my opponent. I'm going to play Takanuma and Mox Diamond. I hate that Mox Diamond exposes me extra to Consume, but it also lets me Croxa here. Go get him. All right, it's in. It resolved. Got another land. Fatal Push. Yep, that works. Okay, uh, Consume kills Mox Diamond. That's three cards. Dark Ritual's four. I'm almost able to re-escape Kroxa again right away. Oh, Plague Engineer. Yeah, that one. That one's whatever. Naming Lizard is pretty powerful, though. Yep, that's good shit. Chains. Okay, uh, this is the game plan that I set up for 100 turns ago. Does Dark Ritual do anything here? It lets me keep a card in my hand. Okay. Chains. You have Force of Will. You don't have Force of Will. All right. Burning Inquiry. Let's go. Horse. Pitching Ponder. All right. Deal. I am very close to Kroxa taking over this game. It's right there. I just need to get a card in my graveyard. I actually need two cards in my graveyard. All right. I guess I'm passing the turn. I like the Red Blast a lot. I'm worried about Consume. That would mess me up pretty hard. Thoughtseize. Bummer. All right, take the Red Blast. Take the Red Blast. All right, they took the Red Blast. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go. Let's have you sack a creature, please. All right, this game is starting to tilt in a direction that I like. All right, Lightning Bolting Lilian is not even a huge deal. And I wish it stayed in play, but what are you going to do? Dark Ritual is the fifth card for Kroxa. All right, it's in. Discarding a Ponder. I'm going to keep a card in my hand so I can uh, draw cards with chains if necessary. Oh no, is your last card Jason? You drew the land to cast it. Stop, stop. My life is shit. Uh, that's okay though. Uh, Kroxa 
versus Jace with chains in play is not the worst matchup I can imagine. Especially if I'm drawing creature lands that can kill Jace. Alright, take three. And creature land. Go. Just draw Brainstorm. No Lightning Bolt. No Fatal Push. Five does have Menace, so Baleful Strix isn't that bad. Eight sealing themselves. Looking for answers. Ruwala. Okay. Um, that means I'm going to play my land. Firing in here. I am going to pressure Jace. I know they're at seven, but since I drew a creature, I actually like going after the Jace. I'm going to eat Lightning Bolt from the graveyard in case they're playing to a Snapcaster. Oh, Fatal Push was just the card in your hand. Come on. All right. Here's a creature. Still plussing themselves with Jace. Did not put the card on bottom again. Oh. I think now. Do I want to put three damage on. Or I can only put one damage on Jace. If I attack my opponent, if I attack Jace. This is really close, actually. Right, I'm going to attack my opponent. And I am actually just going to pump the Root Walla. Because the chains, if I draw another card, cast this Root Walla for free. And just pressuring their life total here. Like, I'm not going to wade through this Jace in a reasonable time frame. And right now it's in permanent Fate Seal mode. If I play the second Root Walla, I lose them both to consume. Found Snapcaster. Yep, that's gone. And every card that goes to my graveyard feeds the Kroxa, which is a good card when your opponent's at three or less life. Mystic Sanctuary is probably in the stack, and it's currently online. Something I gotta respect. I would love to draw a Burning Inquiry right now. The Wasteland. Uh, that's actually huge. I'm gonna play the Wasteland, and I'm gonna play the Rootwalla. Because now if they go to fetch, I can waste and take off the number of islands they have. I'll do that right now. No Mystic Sanctuary on my watch. I learned from my previous opponent about that one. Wasteland's also a card in the graveyard for Kroxa. Jace is almost there on activation. Oh no, Plague Engineer. That is another card. If I draw a card I can put directly into my graveyard, like a Fetchland or Wasteland, I win this game on the spot. Come on, deck. Help me out now. Even Mox Diamond goes straight to the graveyard. Fetchland, Dark Ritual, Mox Diamond... Takanuma. That's a legendary land! Play Takanuma. Keep this one. And we are in there. Bang! Take three! Dead for Xaxes. Holy guacamole. This deck is awesome in these fair blue matchups. I don't mean awesome but as in good. I mean awesome as in the play patterns are an absolute delight. We're 2-1 and one. on to the next round. I'm on the draw for round 4. I have an inquiry hand with Two root wallas. I'm in. Opponent's on a Malda's five so far. Well, I'm either dead on turn one or this inquiry is going to be real nice. Okay, are we oops all spells? What's going on? All right, just a weird ponder deck. A genuine Malda five and chose to shuffle. I'm just going to crack off Wasteland. If you Malda five and shuffle your ponder, I'm going to waste you. Those are the rules. We can. Play this turn one again over, if you even have a mana to do it, and if you don't, I will enjoy exerting myself on this game. Okay, do have a land. It's all good. Now I'm actually a little worried about Burning Inquiry just fueling a giant Murktide, but with three Ruwalas in hand, it's hard to say no. Alright, let's go. If this gets dazed or whatever, that's fine. I don't think I would spend any effort on this if I was a, the opponent. My opponent said in the chat, what is this madness? You're right. It sure is. <laughs> Two root wallas. One of them appeared off the top, discarded my Liliana, but otherwise that was a draw two. They discarded two lands and a Pyroblast. All right, the Pyroblast was a freebie, but I hope losing two lands was bad for them. Uh-oh, we're just getting murktided. Yep, guaranteed. Hey, it's that thing I said I was worried about. The race is on. Winds of change. Uh, that's not where I want to be. I think I want to take the wild swing with my Turok here. This gets hit by days, but whatever. Got to make the plays I have. Nope. Okay. 
Merktide Regent. Bad news, bears. There are answers to this thing in my deck. We are just having a race on the ground. Uh, I don't need that. I am going to attack for two and then play my other two root wallas. I think that's better than attacking for three and just letting lightning bolt blow me out. I uh, wish I could fetch the bayou here. Still doesn't work. Who will win? One big lizard or four small lizards? Yeah, that wasteland's pretty fucked up. Messes my racing potential up pretty hard. Delver, that can block or just kill me. Ugh. Oh, well, I mean, let's hope the Delver blocks, I guess. Oh, no chance. And we're dead. Stupid Marktide Regent. Yeah, I'm literally just dead. Opponent mauled a five, got Wasteland to turn one, easily killed me. That was the problem with Burning Inquiry. I was worried it would fuel Murktide Regent, but with the number of cards in their hand, they were as likely to discard the Murktide as they were to not discard it. Okay, Sudden Edict and Pyroblast comes in. Finally, a matchup where Consume is playable. I don't hate Plague Engineer, but I'm running out of cards I want to cut. Okay, Winds of Change is just really bad. This is not a defensible magic card. That one is not going to make the final build at the end of the league. I think I need to chill on Mox Diamond. And I don't think I can afford to cut lands. But Dark Rituals, yes. I could cut Basking Rootwalla, because I'm bringing in Consume, which layers really poorly against my Rootwallas. All right, I'm going to try this. On the play, Burning Inquiry and a bunch of Pyroblasts. I'll keep this. I think I'm in the, the Burning Inquiry business. Let's go. Discarded Kroxa and Wasteland. Yeah, I'll just hold on to this. They lost a Surgical Brainstorm and a land. Land. Blue card. This is way too many Mox Diamonds. Not having it. Red Blast that. All right, we're just buying time for Kroxa. 19 feels like infinite lands when you're playing against Delver. Like three lands already in the graveyard, and they're just like, yeah, land drop. They did choose to shuffle their library, though. I like that. Oh, chains, baby. I can't play around days with these two Mox Diamonds, but I will force some action here, as the Delver deck loves drawing cards. Yep, that's fine. Sucks, but fine. You know what I mean. I even boarded out a Mox Diamond, and here we are with a handful of Mox Diamonds. Oh, baby. That's better than... Mox Diamond. Like, I could have used that Wasteland to try to uh, discard to Mox Diamond and get closer to Kroxa, but I think I gotta just screw them out of the game if I can. Come on. Oh, a red creature. That one I can't beat. Okay. Um, I think this land is better than one of the Diamonds. Just Diamond just gets got by, like, Brazen Borrower and Meltdown and all this random shit. Bayou gets got by Wasteland, but I'm already exposed to Wasteland, so I think I want to lean in. Den of the Bugbear. I would rather have that in play than put Crooks on the stack right now. And then if I draw mana next turn, I can Crooks a with Pyroblast back up. All right, deck. Blazing Ruwala. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Am I at a place where I can just Kroxa into days here? I don't think so. I'm going to play Rootwalla. I'm not happy with it. But I've done all this work. Don't give it up now. Now I'm at 8. Anna? Or another Kroxa? Jeez. I'm probably just going to die to this Dragon's Rage Channeler. Just running out of action here. Running out of options. I can't even pump my Rootwalla if I want to leave up Pyroblast. But do I want to leave up Pyroblast? I don't think so. Yeah, that doesn't really matter here. And Consume, that kills Dragon's Rage Channeler, also removes both my Kroxas from the game. Bad scene all around here. Just drawing the Mox Diamonds instead of lands is lights out this game. I'm at 5, just dead to Bolt. Even if I do stabilize this situation. The Bolts are coming. Uh, I think I have to do this. My hand is so bad gotta fire it in lightning bolt in response okay i'm at two that's not very much and dead <laughs> wowie yeah this deck has problems with resolved creatures 
That was rough. On to the final round. I'm on the play in the final round, playing for a positive record. We've had two phenomenal matches and two terrible matches. And let's see what my opponent's up to here. I could just wins, and I, I'm going to keep this hand. I could just wins and see what happens. I could burning inquiry and see what happens. I kind of want to inquiry. I always kind of want to inquiry. And I'm going to get Badlands to do it because I want to try to set up this turn to him if I can. Let's get weird. Uh, Karn, Ancient Tomb, Grove in the graveyard over there. All right. My opponent is also weird. Oh no, this is the Chalice. That actually is really good against me. Oh, it's the Yokel Hops build of Red Prison. Thanks, Phil Gallagher. All right, just keep drawing one drops now. That's cool. I'll play Tarak because I need to start pressuring. Do I have any answer to a Chalice? I don't think I planned for that. Nope, deck full of one drops. Uh, I have meltdowns in the sideboard and consumes. I want to play Blood Sun as miserable as possible because that turns off my hive. Okay, uh, I'll attack for two. Just gotta hope their hand is bad. Yoko Hops, if you haven't seen this card, by the way, six mana, destroy all artifacts, creatures, and lands. Can be regenerated. Bill Gallagher at Thraben U, Thraben University on YouTube. 5 0 with a Yokel Hops deck a couple weeks ago, and I've seen other people post 5 0s with it. It's a scary thing. It's a powerful card. Another Chrome Mox pitching Blood Moon. And there's Karn. I need to draw Kroxa immediately. Is, is the. Oh, that works too, though. All right. Uh, Takanuma. Play this. This. Smears their hand and grows the original Barak. I'm keeping the one without summoning sickness. All right, we hit the ensnaring bridge and I get to kill Karn right now. Big moves. Okay, that was a good draw. Now I have a real threat capable of ending a game. Oh no, is this the yoke? Oh, it's Chandra. That's so much fucking worse. This just kills my creature. All right, damn it. Fine. For a moment, I thought we were alive, but we were dead. All right. This game's no longer winnable. Yeah, so they played Ancient Tomb to cast Chandra with. They, one of those was a top deck because they only had one card in hand going into the turn. Okay, Meltdown and Consume, I think, have to come in because Chalice is such a problem. They're a Karn deck, so I kind of don't want Mox Diamond in my deck. And I'm bringing in my Meltdowns and Consume, so that's sort of a, a natural trade. I kind of want to go fast and wins them. I wish I knew if this deck had all the goblins in it. Probably doesn't. All right, I'm going in like this. Dark Rituals are my fast mana. They're going to have Blood Sun and Blood Moon. On the play, uh, Burning Inquiry. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. We will get weird with a Burning Inquiry. I have to get Badlands. I guess I didn't. What am I even saying? All right, uh, I did hit my root walla. Let's go. They discarded Punishing Fire and a Yokel Hops and a Grove. Glad I fetch Badlands now because him to Tarak is good here. And another Grove to go with Punishing Fire. That's a tilt. Chalice, I'm ready for it this game. And Akanuma, get in there. Him to Tarak you before you can pick up your fire and make it less dangerous. Ooh, they don't have a land drop. I think I am just wasting now. You're going to miss your land drops against me. I'm going to hit you with a lizard. Oh, yeah, and they just conceded. Okay. All right. Took turns shithousing each other. That's not true. Game one was actually really close and dynamic. Just came down to who had the most insane permanent at the end. Now I got to get one on the draw. This is hard mode. I don't think my plan changes. It's just worse. <laughs> All right, let's go. I have chains, double him. I guess I'll keep this. It's not sexy. They have shown kind of a softness to Wasteland, but on the draw, it's rough. Oh, we're just three balling. All right, I'll Wasteland you. We can play this game. Moment of truth. Who can dig out of this first? I can fetch basic swamp here if necessary. 
I need to draw a land. All right, we got there on the land. Okay. Do you have the third land? And if so, what is the follow-up? You don't have it. Oh, baby. Get in my belly. I'm going to get basic swamp and start jamming him to Turox. Lost Karn and Blood Sun there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's the payoff? What's the payoff? Chandra. It's a pretty good one. Exile a Chalice that they can't play. Bummer. I don't think I'm getting through this. Uh, I can hem them down to nothing again. Is that even good? Uh, yeah, probably. Blood Moon, Blood Sun. All right, yeah. It's Chandra versus my deck, and I think Chandra is the winner. Oh, God, making mana, you drew a spell. Oh, no! All right. I think if they miss the City of Traitors there, I win this game, but that's not what happened, and instead I lose this game. Is there any way out of this? I don't think so. Yeah. All right. GG's. That's what you get for registering a non-blue deck in Legacy. Sometimes you lose to Red Prison. Okay, a 2-3 and three record, which, honestly... I'm not upset about, given what we're doing here. Winds of Change, massively underperformed. I just don't think that the Legacy format, with the permission that it has and the interaction that it has, and the quality of threats that it has, allows for just a cheese wins sort of situation. So I think Burning Inquiry was good. I think wins, maybe go down to one. Like, if you want to play a fun of one of, you can. I want the fourth Liliana. I want the fourth to rock. I want the fourth ritual. Those are all going to be better than that. I don't think we need two gemstone caverns. That's especially with this plan changing the way it is. I'm pretty into Den of the Bugbear, though. Let's get another one of those in here. The Mox Diamonds were okay. I, d I don't think you need four of them. Because the second one is always going to be bad. Just 100% of the time. And without wins in the deck, we're just not trying to do a turn one crazy three mana play anymore croaks are really performed really impressed with that creature i was talking about thought seize. that's probably something i want here it's like a couple of thought seizes maybe those are better than the fourth to rock get some thought seizes in like hollow one is a card you could play but at some point you should just be playing red green madness and it stops becoming defensible that you're doing something different and I think we need more Sudden Edicts in the 75. I did just add a Liliana, who is a removal spell, but Murktide Regent is a card in the format. And that is a the understatement of a century. I think I'm going to lose a Blood Moon to make room for that. Because with all my creature lands and Urborgs and stuff, uh, Ur Blood Moon is going to hurt me a lot, too. And you're probably going to struggle with lands, but whatever. <laughs> you can't beat everything. And I'd rather have a chance against the things that we can beat. And I'm going to leave this here. This is absolute madness. I think the madness was a little too absolute. Like, winds of change, just so bad. At every point. I guess it drew out a force of will once when it would have done this thing. But otherwise, Burning Inquiry just outperformed it across the board. We had two insanely positive matchups, two insanely negative matchups, and one just... Ham fest where we took turns top decking cards and playing them against each other that we ended up on the wrong side of. But this was a pretty dynamic league overall. Tapped into half of a Pox deck, half of a Madness deck, both of which are known legacy quantities, and invented something new. And that's what Magic is all about. It's cool that Legacy is a big enough form that you could do this sort of thing and actually win a few matches. And we learned how to improve the deck, where I imagine if I played another five rounds with this deck, which I'm not going to do, by the way. We'd find another way to improve it. There is actually one more thing I want to do to improve it before I sign off, and that's add Taiga. Uh, I don't think Sakenzan is super relevant with its text, but there were multiple times where I was like, well, can't do that because I don't have a Taiga. So one of each of the Splash Color Dual Lands, three of the core Badlands, Gemstone Caverns is still fun, and even in the games where it's bad, you're a Liliana and Mox Diamond deck, so you'll find a use for it. I'm going to sign this one off here. This was Rob's Absolute Madness. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Patreon if you want to submit something crazy like this for me to do. And I'll see you all next time.